Leila flipped a coin 20 times and made this table to show how many outcomes were heads and how many were tails. Based on her data, what is the experimental probability of getting heads on a coin flip? All right, so this is a really common statistics problem. Uh, here they're just asking you for a probability of getting a certain event. And what you have to do is you have to be able to read or extract data from a table um, and also obviously answer the question. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is that we're going to tally up the results. So they've told us there's 20 uh, coin flips. And then if you look at the table and you count how many events are heads, that's 8. And then if you count the number of tails, that's 12. All right, for a total of 20. All right, so if we look back at the question, it says, um, based on her data, what is the experimental probability of getting heads on a coin flip? All right, so here what you would do is that you would set up an equation um, or a fraction rather to look at the desired probability or the desired outcome, which is, they're telling us is heads, <coughs> excuse me, and then you would di divide that number by the total um, probability or the total number of coin flips. All right, so the number of heads they're telling us from the table is 8, and then you would divide that by 20 which is the total number of coin flips. Remember that whenever you have a fraction, you always have to uh, reduce that to its lower expression. So if you divide um, both numbers by four, which is a common uh, denominator, or a common number, you end up with two over five. Okay, so, or two fifths. So the answer is two out of five.